Hey, it's Joe, founder and creator of the GPSforlove.com. Today, I want to talk about something that's very controversial. It's something I hear from a lot of the members of our community. And it kind of goes like this. You know, go out on a date. You're all excited. You've talked to the guy a couple of times on the phone. And you sit down across from him. And all of a sudden, it's like the air goes out of the balloon. And what I always hear is, you know, I immediately, I immediately knew he wasn't my type. And so when I'm working with a client and we get to this part, because we always get to this part, what we often discover is you don't know if he's your type. What you're saying is I wasn't attracted to him. And that's cool. I'm not saying that you should go after trolls. I mean, if you sit down across from someone and the guy isn't obviously, obviously he's a troll and he's, you know, he's just not attractive to you. That's perfectly cool. See, I don't believe that you got to be Mother Teresa and, you know, go after guys that just don't do it for you. I believe we're attracted to what we're attracted to for different reasons. But what I'm hoping that you'll get out of this today is to start expanding your type. And let me give you a perfect example. When I first met my wife, she wasn't my type. But I was at that point in my life where I realized that my type wasn't working. You know, I'm going to be honest, you know, those of you who know me, it's complete transparency. Up until I met my ex-fiance, I was a boy, okay? I went for the attraction first. I went for the type. There was a specific type of woman that I would tend to date. And if you looked at most of the women I dated in my life, they all pretty much fell into that category because I was focused on looks, attraction first. But what I also realized is that, you know what, that type very rarely led me to the results I wanted. So after calling off my engagement 30 days before walking down the aisle and really taking some time, you know, that mirror time to look at how I, you know, the role I played in things, I realized that, you know what, my way isn't working. My type isn't working. So I've got to expand a little. And that's kind of what I did. So when I met my wife, I was focused on, yeah, I want to be attracted to someone that's that's got to be important. And I'm not going to lie. I'm a guy and I couldn't be a woman. I don't, and I've dated women like that in the past where I met them and they were really nice people. You know, they were good. They were a good person, but just wasn't doing it for me. And you know what I'm talking about? You've been with somebody where it's just like, ugh, it's just not happening. You know, no matter how much you try, it's that making that square peg fit in a round hole. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is those ones that you never gave a chance because they didn't fit into your type. So quite honestly, when I first met, first met my wife and we went on our first date, I sat down, I'm like, she's okay. And that really was my first impression. You know, she wasn't like, oh, wow, she's, she's it. She's exactly what I'm looking for. And it wasn't like, oh, she's a troll. You know, she was okay. And I know she felt the same way about me. If you look at the history of the guy she dated, I wasn't her typical type. But we simply got to know each other. And the more we got to know each other and the more we experienced who we were as, as a person and how we worked well as a couple, we grew more and more in love. So one of the things I want you to get is that, you know, you got to get rid of this type shit. OK, just throw it out the window. OK, and what I want you to focus on is finding a guy that you're going to be attracted to, but who also gives you all those other things, because if you look at your type. He may have gave, given you the chemistry and you may have had that sexual compatibility, but really all those other important things, those things that you need to make a relationship work in the real world just weren't happening. And so when you open up your horizons and you open up to new possibilities and you expand your type and you give guys that you wouldn't normally give a chance, you, know, you give them the opportunity to know you and you open your heart up to getting to know them. Then you can look and see, does he have the important things? You know, is he going to be there for you? Is he going to respect you? Is he going to honor you? Because, you know, as we get older, looks change, looks fade. Okay. But the essence of a person will never go away. So there's an expression that I use, and I really hope that you'll really take this in. And that is looks open up the door, but it's the essence of the person that makes you decide if you want to stay. 
And what I mean by that is that you got to be attracted to someone, okay? You've got to be able to, you know, play tonsil hockey with someone and not be afraid to open your eyes. You got to be able to be intimate with someone and not being able, not wanting to crawl under the bed or, or to run away. Okay? You got to be attracted to someone. But that simply is attraction. And that's different for everyone. Now, if you have these high standards, you have these high qualities and characteristics that are simply unrealistic or unreasonable, and that's all you focus on, like you've done in the past, and you know what I'm talking about, well, you're just going to keep getting more and more of that. If, however, you start expanding and simply go after someone who is attractive, but then you start looking for all that other stuff first, and you simply use the attraction, you, you make your new type the one that's simply going to open the door and allow you to experience and find the kind of guy you're looking looking for, you're going to notice some interesting things start to happen. So I want to hear from you. If you were to look back over your past and be honest, do you have a certain type? And what kind of type? What is it? What is your type? You know, is it tall, dark, and handsome? You know, is it, you know, you go for a certain ethnicity? Do you have guys with a certain physique? You know, whatever it is for you. You know, certain guys with a certain type of job status, a certain kind of income, whatever it is for you. You know, be real. This is mirror time. This is this is only us. Nobody's going to tell on you. But this is how we learn. This is how we do things differently. And then I want you to see how that type has worked for you. What have you noticed about your type? Do they tend to be more superficial? Do they tend to be focused on themselves? Okay. What I notice with my type is that physically they may have had a lot of the things, you know, they may have been the total package on the outside, but inside they were very empty. There wasn't a lot of essence to who they were as a person. And that was why my wife actually became more attracted to me is because the more I dated her, the more I got to know her, the more I realized what an awesome person she was and how compatible we were and how she made my life so much better and so much easier. And so as I stand here today, you know, I look at my wife as she's the most beautiful person in the world to me. Now, if you see her, you might go, well, she's okay. But to me, she just, she rocks because she's everything I've always wanted in a partner, you know, in a wife, in a best friend, in a lover. Okay. And I share that with you because I see so many members of our community getting caught up on this type stuff. You know, he's not my, and you immediately cut guys off and you never give them the chance. Or maybe you give them one or two times, but because they don't live up to your parameters, you never really truly open up. So that's all I'm asking you to do is simply open yourself up to new possibilities. Give it a try and really see if you can be attracted to someone. Okay, Because you either are or you aren't. I'm not saying if it's not there, you know, keep going. I'm not saying that at all. I don't believe in that. I believe you've got to be attracted on some level. But if that minimal level of attraction is there, then open up and start looking for the really important things. Because I always joke, you know, when I hear these women say, you know, what my type, I always say, you know what, when you're sick in bed and you need someone to be there for you and clean up the messes, how important are looks really? What's important is the essence of a person, how they're going to be there for you, how they're going to respect you, how they're going to take care of you when you need them most. See, that's what makes a marriage succeed. You know, I know because I've been in one of those marriages now for 14 years. And unfortunately, I had to learn the hard way. It took me making a lot of bad mistakes to finally get to this point. And that's one of the reasons why I created GPS for Love, is that if you want to have a great relationship, you simply got to do things a little differently. And so don't listen to anybody else. Don't listen to me. Okay? You know in your heart what's right and best for you. You simply got to go within. You got to get real with yourself. And then you have to make consistent choices and decisions which are in alignment with what you want. And when you do that, that's when the cool stuff happens. As always, it's an honor and privilege. I'd love to hear from you. Please put your comments down below. We'll see you next time. God bless.